Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation with radicals. So we have the square root of 12 to the power x minus 16 to the power x equals 3 to the power x minus 4 to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x values. Now, to be able to solve this problem, obviously there's more than one way to do it. But one of the things we can do to simplify the process is using substitution, which is very, very helpful in many cases. As you probably notice in many of my videos, I use substitution, which is a very powerful method. So let's go ahead and do the following. Replace 2 to the power x with a and 3 to the power x with b. Now, why am I picking on those two bases? If you look at these numbers, 12 and 16 and 3 and 4, you'll notice that 12 can be written as 2 to the second power times 3, and 16 is 2 to the fourth power. So both of these numbers are made up of 2s and 3s only in their prime factorization. So it's important to pick those. And obviously, you don't want to call 4 to the power x something. You could, but... If I just call 2 to the power x something, then it's better because 2 is prime and 3 is also prime. So we're kind of working with building blocks. In general, uh, this is a better idea. So let's go ahead and do the replacements now. What is 12 to the power x going to be? You can basically raise both sides to the power x, and then this will be distributed. And then 2 to the power 2x can be written as 2 to the power x squared and multiply by two, 3 to the power x, that basically gives us a squared b. Okay, So 12 to the power x basically can be written as a squared b. And now we're going to look at each one of these. You know, From that perspective, 16 to the power x is basically 2 to the 4 to the x, which is 2 to the 4x. And then, of course, the rule says you're supposed to multiply the exponents. But then it also allows you to write this as 2 to the x to the 4. So in other words, these two powers can be switched around. That's a general rule that could be written as a to the power m to the power n is the same as a to the n to the power m. And this is a very helpful property of exponents. So now, since 2 to the power x is equal to a from here, then we can basically replace 2 to the x with a, and this gives us a to the fourth power. So 16 to the power x can be written as a to the fourth power. Let's go ahead and make the other replacements. The rest is kind of easy. 3 to the x is just going to be b, and 4 to the x is basically 2 to the x squared, or you can write it as 2 squared to the x, and then that's 2 to the power 2x, which can be written as 2 to the x squared. Or you can think about this as 2 squared, which is basically 2 to the x squared. Now, since 2 to the x is equal to 2, this will become a to the second power. So I think we got everything we need. Let's go ahead and make the replacements. 12 to the x is going to be a squared b minus 16 to the x is just going to be a to the fourth. And then we have this under the radical equals 3 to the x, which is b, minus a squared, which is 4 to the power x. Great. Now, we got our expression in terms of a and b. Now, obviously, there are two variables, so it's a little problematic because we had a single variable. Now we have two variables, but don't worry, those are related. So we're going to square both sides to get rid of the radical, square both sides, square both sides, and then this is going to give us a squared b minus a to the fourth equals b squared minus 2b, or not 2b, a squared plus a to the fourth. Nothing cancels out, but let's put everything on the same side. So we can go ahead and do it actually on the right hand side, which seems better. Let's move the a to the fourth, so add it to both sides. You're going to get b squared, and then you have to subtract this. So these two are like terms, by the way, so that's going to give you negative 2ba squared minus b a 1ba squared, which is going to give you minus 3ba squared, right? And then finally, you're going to get 2a to the fourth, and that's equal to zero. Now, this kind of looks like a difficult equation. You can definitely look at it from different angles. I think I'll give you two approaches here. One of them is basically treating this as a quadratic in b. Why b? Because this equation is 
cortic in A. If you look at the term A to the fourth, I don't think you want to solve a cortic. Well, actually, it's kind of like a biquadratic, so you kind of have to replace A squared with C, and then that'll be quadratic in C. Anyways, let's not get into C, and hopefully you're going to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to treat this as a quadratic like I said earlier, but let me go ahead and write it this way. B squared, and then I'm going to get a B here, and then I'm going to get a 2A to the fourth. So let me go ahead and change the colors here. So this is like 3A squared, and then plus 2A to the fourth. Hopefully you got what I... Uh, you understand what I'm talking about. I just wanted to show you that, hey, this is really quadratic in B. Notice that I have B squared and B. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. From here, I get B values, obviously. Negative B, it's kind of funny, but the coefficient of B is B in this case. The opposite of that, in other words, what's the opposite of this coefficient right here, which is 3A squared, plus minus the square root of that coefficient squared, which is 9a to the fourth, minus 4ac, remember that, 4 times 2a to the fourth. So this is kind of like a safer method to do it, but I'm also going to show you an alternative which works well in this case too. Anyways, that's going to be divided by 2. Now from here, we get two solutions, right? I'm sorry, this kind of looks like a 9. It's supposed to look like an a, so like 9a to the power 4, something like this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now we're going to subtract this. This is minus 8 a to the fourth, so that's going to leave us with a single a to the fourth. If you square root a to the fourth, that should give you an a squared, right? And from here, we can split this up. If you add them, 4a squared divided by 2, that's going to give you 2a squared. If you subtract them and divide by 2, that's going to give you a squared. Awesome. So now we got b in terms of a. In other words, we found an equation that associates the a and b values. But a and b have something in common. What is that? It's the exponent. So they have the same exponent, which is nice. Let's go ahead and back substitute. So first equation, we get from here b equals 2a squared. And what is b? What is a? Remember that? b is 3 to the power x and a is 2 to the power x. But I'm supposed to square that, which is going to give me 2 times uh, by the way, you can do a couple different things here. You can write this as uh, 2 to the power 2x plus 1 and then go off of that. Or you can do just 4 to the x. It's probably better because this way I can kind of put the 3s and 4s together or the expressions with the same exponent. So divide both sides by 4 to the x and then take out the x. Kind of like factoring but in an exponential way. You take out the x and here we go. Nice. So at this point, we can use logs because we have an exponential function and x is the unknown. So I do need to log or ln or whatever you want to do. Let's go ahead and use natural log on both sides. And then that's going to give us x, bring it to the front, x times ln 3 fourths equals ln 2. And finally, by division, you get the value of x, right? That's what I was looking for. Great, so that's the value of x, and that, that's basically uh, one of the methods. Another approach, I'm going to take this expression right here, b squared minus 3a squared b plus, I think that was a to the fourth, right? Or was it 2a to the fourth? I think it was 2, yes. 2a to the fourth equals 0. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor this, because guess what? This is factorable. If you think about it, this is actually b minus, okay, so here's how you find it, by the way. You can factor this into b times b, you can factor this into 2a squared times a squared, but to get the term in the middle, which has a minus sign, you have to negate both of these because their product is still going to be positive 2a to the fourth. So in other words, if you multiply these two things, we're going to get the original expression, which gives us the exact same solutions, so we don't really need to go over them. Make sense? So that's pretty much it. And of course, this is one of the solutions. Oopsies, I didn't do the other one. B equals a squared is going to give us what? Let's go ahead and check it out. We said that b equals a squared. So b is 3 to the x and a is 2 to the x squared. So this is 3 to the x equals 4 to the x. And this gives us x equals 0. Because if you divide both sides by 4 to the x, you get this. And the only way this is going to happen is with x equals 0. So that's going to be another solution that we find. So there are two solutions to this equation. 
And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.